Hey, hello. Today, one chaser lesson. What we can do with chasers. Chaser is very good for animations, a little bit more complex than the simple things in Matrix, but a nice effect. Have a look what we can do. Yeah, you can see the text falling down, stop some seconds and it's going away. This is what we want to do today. And uh, for this, I have opened a new uh, setup. Yeah, we make it 640 by 320. It's a nice size, nearly two square meter for a nice fine definition DJ booth or for a bigger back wall, whatever. Yeah, you can adjust the size, it's no problem. So here we have a look. Yeah, that's the effect. And for this, we start with an empty button. And uh, of course, first we need a text. We will stop the text. And let me write something like party or what we can do. Uh, a club name or let's do the LJ again. LJ Matrix is a nice an idea, nice idea. So we need to adjust the size. We can do this here. Yeah, and uh, my favorite for a nice font is the impact. We can make it big. Here you can uh, make it directly, so you no need to do OK anymore. You can check the effect and I can see, okay, it's a little bit small. Yeah, and you can check out here some ideas. So for me, this will be fine. Okay, then we need to find the middle. Just now, normally we do this with a map, but this time, please not do with a map. Use the position feature uh, and this will be about 20 or a little bit lower. You can scroll with your Windows mouse yeah, to the perfect position and then we go into 30. So we are nearly in the middle. In map, we use only the half height. Yeah, so because I really want to make a mirror effect, yeah, we can do repeat and we can mirror vertical. So we have a nice reflection. And now we can adjust with the Y position our favorite distance between original and reflection. Okay. Just now we have it. Okay. But now the reflection have the same brightness. Yeah. So we can make a new layer and for this we use a gradient for me it's the fastest way just now to make manipulation like reflections we no need so many we will start with a white i will add one more white then for me comes a black a 50 percent white and black again. If you have this, of course, uh, it's a little bit adjustment, but it's a nice uh, gradient. And you can see what I mean, yeah? It looks, just now, it looks like a reflection, but we need to mask. And then we need to adjust the position of uh, the reflection here. Now you have what I mean. Yeah, it's a nice reflection you can design over the brightness here. The effect. Yeah, I'm good with 50%. Yeah, and here you can play a little bit with this effect. 
Yeah, so you have a nice idea. You even can do this here a little bit more dark, earlier dark. Yeah, it's up to you. Okay, next step uh, will be all the steps in our animation. And uh, Matrix have a nice feature. This is the chaser effect. It's all about this button here. This button is a very creative button in normal is empty, but we can start it with edit. For today, we can keep the effect settings as long as you only, oh, sorry, this was the wrong layer. We must, or we want to animate our text. So, go to the chaser button. As long as you manipulate things you can see here in the settings, it's nice if you go with the effect. If you change some things behind here, the map functions, then you really need to uh, choose what you want to animate. Yeah, Maybe you want to play with the map, then you need to choose the map settings yeah, or the mix settings. Or you can choose all together, then you all time sure okay i have all in but now we only want to manipulate one setting this is the position in y so the first thing is this is my final picture yeah so i add this in the list and please give them a description final position so because as long as you have one button or two it's okay but if you have a complex animation you cannot find anymore what you have done and what you want to do okay this is our first step and then I need a position and why I want to go up and this is for me too slowly I try minus minus 60 minus 60 and then I can see a small line okay so this is good 60.5 this is my upper position so I add this position I call it upper position and I will bring this on top okay now I have a small animation I can check this out yeah play but we cannot see a movement. This is in the fade time. Yeah, In the fade time you define how long matrix need from one position to another position. So you can check it out. One second is too long for the falling. It's good enough if you work with uh, 2.4, 0 0.24. And then you can have a look. Okay, this is the first step. It's falling down. Okay. Then my next idea is it's falling down, it's going a little bit up and then down again. So I need a position in the middle. So let me try some positions. Zero is too high. Uh, I think it will be nice with 15, something like this, 20, let's do a nice jump, yeah, so this is the next position, so, so let's call it middle, middle jump, middle jump. Okay, the time we falling down is a 0 0.24, so I think we will be good with the half time to jump up 1.2. Okay, and then 
you can check it out. This is the first position, this is the second position, this is the third position. Now we need the final position again and then we can only uh, duplicate and bring this down because it's the same setting. Yeah? But we need the time adjustment 1.2. Okay, let's try it. Upper position, final position, middle position, final position. Uh, if we start the animation, but it looks not really good, not realistic. Yeah. And for this, we need to set up the fader type. Ah, and then also we have wait time. Yeah, With the wait time. Let's do this to zero for all. We know like, ah, sorry. We can wait a second on start. Yeah. And then let's have a look again. This looks not bad. Yeah. But here the final position. We can give them three seconds. Wait. Okay, so. Okay. And the upper position we can use at the end again. After three seconds, we will fade to the final position in a longer time, 0.3, we know wait, so have a look now. Okay, it's nice, it's a good animation, but we can make it a smaller adjustment in the fader type. Now we have a lot of uh, settings here, yeah, and uh, I have figured out the easy in exponential means this is an acceleration, yeah, as you s start slowly and then you be, will be faster and faster like a falling. So I will choose this for the final position, yeah, so we have a look here. So now the movement is and then faster. Okay. Even for this, yeah, easy in exponential. Then you have a movement, yeah. This is more realistic. And if you want to make it exactly, you also can change here from linear to easy in, easy out, because, no, 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 it's, uh, it's jump, maybe slowlier, yeah, a jump is more slowlier, and then it's falling again down, is more fast, okay. Yeah, now we have a realistic look. Okay, you can save this button. Yeah, you can save all the chaser steps, or you manipulate for yourself the time later. I'm fine with this. And now uh, we only want to add some small things. Yeah, if you want to change the color, of course you can do this here, or you. Uh, bring in a new layer, a color layer, and you mask your layer. And let's use the nice matrix colors. It's very cool. Yeah, it's a nice green. And uh, then you have designed your whole animation with this color. And of course, you can uh, do a background for this. I choose a video for this. Let's do a video. Open. 
can find some videos in the net. It would be cool if you find a color maybe with some pinks yeah so if you single this this is nice yeah it's a nice pink but in totally now we have to shadow also on the layer for the video if you want to avoid this then you must tell the gradient please only for the text and then comes the link button yeah now you can see it's working and the color we also mask overall and you want to change the colors only for the text so this means we only manipulate the gradient okay so we link this only to the gradient so and now I can see okay we can make a little adjustment here then a little bit more look than here So this is the basic animation and if you want to show this only one time then please adjust this here. Now we have an endless animation and you can play this exactly one time. Okay, so all time if you bring in this effect Then you have a small animation with your name, with the club name, with the party, with the message. Yeah, you can set up the information in your text. Yeah, or you make it in single, looks very nice. Yeah. Okay. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. I'm appreciative of uh, spend time with me and my small lesson. And I hope you will use Madrix a little bit more beautiful in the future. And if you have any question, you can ask me. Ask me here on the YouTube, or ask me as an email, or yeah, whatever. You can find me. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.